Yo, how's it going everyone? Daxels here, and I hope you're having a good day, hope you're having a fine afternoon, evening, whatever it is, whatever time it is where you are. So, anyway, we're gonna be reacting to I Did A Thing, Can A Homemade Shark Wetsuit Save My Life? That's a good question. And if he actually makes one and it works, I will be very surprised. But that's the fun about this channel, is that it, it doesn't always have to work for it to be good. So let's get straight into it, and away we go. How you going? As you've probably heard, you Australia going? is Let's full go. of deadly sharks. Our True. Sydney Harbour is infested That's what scares me of going, like all the animals and There is nothing I love stuff. more than going for a nice swim, snorkel or spear with a snake stuffed down my pants. And obviously, I could just find another hobby, but it really is the best way to brine my meat. So instead, okay. I'm going to make a shark bite resistant wetsuit so I can safely go steak swimming whenever and wherever I want. Understandable. I like how you're singing about the, the little okay. man. You now, know, despite the, fear the shark attacks and deaths in Australia are actually not very common. And sharks oh, okay. don't want to eat us. Here's a list of things that are way more dangerous to do in Australia. Eating okay. a delicious pizza. Eight eating that pizza that, wait, what? to do in Australia. Eating a delicious pizza. Eight people die each year on choking in Australia. Oh, and choking pizza. in general. Eating Crazy. that pizza with your husband. 50 Ordering five. that pizza using Wait, what, pizza. Five women. Eating Sorry. that pizza. Killed by pizza okay. with your husband. Ordering that pizza using Uber Eats. Eating the leftovers at work the next day. And having Could a drink work. after work. Yeah. All of which Jesus. are way more dangerous. But even though I know I'm not likely to get eaten by a shark, I'm always thinking about it while underwater. Unlike <laughs> the other dangers on the list. Probably because my ex-husband can't swim. So hopefully a tough wetsuit will help me relax. <laughs> and there are actually some shark-proof wetsuits currently on the market, but they cost over oh, wow. a grand. So I'm going to try and copy them on the cheap. And to start, I'm going to use an old neoprene wetsuit and this stuff. UHMWPE, which is a super strong stab-proof fabric used commonly in a place way more dangerous than Australian oceans, um. American prisons. Oh. And hopefully, if I just cut out the fabric and sew it on top of these panels, I'll have a yeah. warm, shark-proof wetsuit. But first, I couldn't resist testing how strong this stuff is. <laughs> and it seems to work well against my teeth, but what about a shark's scissors, teeth? and a knife. Oh. Stuff. But sharks don't have scissors as teeth, so no. I made this shark tooth hammer using real bull shark teeth, which should oh, simulate oh. exactly what it's like to get attacked by a hammer with shark teeth glued on the top. <laughs> and it put heaps of deep cuts into this pair. So now mm -hmm. I just put the fabric over the top. Harder, harder, man. Uh. There is no damage to that. And look at that. There is not a single cut in this pair, which okay, gives me enough it. confidence to waste my time a making a wetsuit out of the stuff. But now I have my first physical and philosophical problem. What is this? How what do is I this? cut a cut proof material? I tried scissors. Oh, yeah. I tried a circular saw. Did it work? Oh! Why did I think that would work? Whoa! I even made a hot scalp. That was kind of cool. But nothing works. Yeah, which how means do you cut I'm gonna the thing that cannot be cut? And buy an industrial pizza cutter. I'm sorry, which does what? an alright job on pizza. Yo, that's sick. And an even better job on this fabric. I then got this plastic sheet and tried my best to trace out the shape of the panels on the wetsuit, which was way harder than it should have been. Then, once I traced it, <laughs> I cut out the plastic and then traced uh -huh. it onto the fabric. And then repeated okay. this process for every panel of the wetsuit. Now, I think you're meant to use this machine with one hand, but I found I got better results if I used both hands to guide the fabric straight into the blade. Only right. problem is, if I slip, I fall face first into it. Oh, yeah. But yeah, yeah. he's a trained professional, guys. Don't worry. I purposely worry. didn't want to think about figuring out how I'm going to attach this fabric to the neoprene. And sewing is the most obvious answer, but this stuff snaps needles like crazy. Oh, yeah, because it's... Wait, what is he doing? What is... Snapped it. Okay. So instead, I'm going to attempt okay. to the panels using a spray-on fabric glue. And I decided not to oh, do smart. the whole piece in one go. Instead, Jeez. I would glue a little bit on, Maybe pressing it off. down, and then let it dry for five minutes, and then come back and do a bit more. So this was my routine for a couple of days. Glue a bit down. Go watch YouTube. Oh, no. Glue Fair a bit enough. more down. Would it um? Go watch not YouTube. come away in the water? Glue right? some more. 
The glue? Then watch YouTube. Glue some more. Is it waterproof? Go watch YouTube. <laughs> He's watching his own video. Glue some more. Wait, how? Wait, how? The Inception! How is he watching it when he's already- he's only just made it? Oh, one like, it must be in private, it unlisted. Ah. Glue I some see. more. Very smart. Go watch YouTube. <laughs> okay, that's just- That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> and then it was done. Okay, and it looks good. a bit rough. So, I used it these like Kevlar scissors to cut off the scrap bits and then used my favourite rubber glue Stop to eating seal it. the edges to make sure it doesn't peel off. Okay, yeah, that was going to say. Was and here yeah. we go. It looks, that looks great sick. from a distance. So, let's it see looks kind of like shark skin. Proof. Maybe they'll think he's one of them. And the fabric actually seems stronger, which is probably because the glue keeps the fibres in place, which doesn't allow the knife to slip in between them. Okay. And if we do a before and after shot of the old, yep. boring, faded wetsuit compared to the new one, the new one looks much better. Um, now, okay, unless buddy. you've been living under a cock, <laughs> you've definitely oh, heard of today's sponsor, NordVPN. I've been oh, using okay. NordVPN for years, and it allows me to have peace of mind while using the internet as it protects all my data and web activity. So before, <laughs> this was how I browsed the internet with barely mm -hmm. any protection. But now, I have mm -hmm. this tough wetsuit, which represents NordVPN and stops all the bad Dude, guys that really? want to get what's on the other side. Really? But with NordVPN, all your internet data is protected behind a wall of next generation encryption. NordVPN has over 5,200 servers think, guys. in phone's 60 in countries. Pocket. Nord is incredibly useful for me, especially when I'm looking up how to make questionable things and want to remain protected and secure. It's also great for changing locations in the world so I can get behind paywalls. So go now to get an exclusive NordVPN deal at nordvpn.com slash I did a thing. It's risk free with Nord's 30 day money back guarantee. That's nordvpn.com slash Why are we still looking at the crotch? Okay, my guy. It. And I want a real how test. How did they agree to that? Shark. And luckily, <laughs> I have this map by a university which shows me the best spots for getting attacked by bull sharks in Sydney Harbour. So I headed down to oh, one great. spot at night to see if I could get the sharks to have a Yo, bite he's of not my wetsuit. Actually and gonna at first, I get wanted to put there, right? this mannequin in the wetsuit and then stuff yeah, it full of yeah, fish yeah. heads that to attract the sharks. Smart. But I realized I probably shouldn't be teaching sharks that people shaped objects are filled with delicious fish. So instead, I made two parcels of fish heads, right. one wrapped in just neoprene and the other mm -hmm. with a stab proof material and the neoprene and then i also uh, covered it in tuna okay. blood and guts which so he wants to make sure it works first and then smart. i just chucked them in the harbor and waited and waited oh oh they just don't care and waited some more just vision. and some more and I oh wow yeah this all around sydney harbor for a week throwing Wait. it in pulling it out it goes to show that in. shark attacks aren't as common as people would think. It's just scary when they happen, you Pulling know? it out. And like you said, they're unlikely. Happened. Wow. But then this happened. Good oh? evening. We begin our broadcast with breaking news. There's been a suspected fatal shark attack at Little Bay near Malabar. Oh. For the first time in 60 years, horrifically, a swimmer was killed by a five metre great white off Sydney which filled me full of hope Great that I could get white. a shark to attack my wetsuit. Jesus. So I got my stuff and headed back out to the harbour, but this time with some hooks as well, so I could try to catch a shark and then pull it in and get it to bite the wetsuit. But after another week of trying, Wow. Nothing. And if you're wondering why I haven't uploaded in so long, this is why. I spent three weeks trying to catch a shark Jesus in Sydney Christ. and I failed. Which strangely made me feel a little bit jealous of the man that was eaten by the shark. Um, um, why had the sharks chosen them and not me? <laughs> That's kind of messed got a up. Backup plan. I'll make my own shark. And I'm going to start with this log splitter, which isn't very good at splitting. Can I just say, this was meant to stop people from going round it. Like he's us using the things to stop people going round it to get round it. Shark. And I'm going to what start with this log splitter, which isn't very good at splitting logs. But oh, I reckon yeah. I can use this massive eight ton hydraulic ram it's built around to mimic a shark bite. So I bought a piece of five mil thick steel plate which okay. I forgot to film. So here's me carrying a one mil thick piece, but <laughs> pretending it's really heavy. And instead of attempting to cut through five Fair mil enough. sheet metal with a grinder, I got some help from a mate and used a tool I've never used before, a plasma cutter. Oh, oh, wear some shoes, my guy. <laughs> yeah, no, 
I don't know why I didn't think of that. That's blasting straight onto my feet. I'll see how I go. I'll just I'll stand in a wide stand wide. Stand wide, wide go slow. Ah. <laughs> wide <laughs> stance. I'll stand in a wide stance. And after a lot of burning myself, <laughs> yeah, I need to stop this no shoe joke. Yeah, right. burning other things. Yeah. Oh my. Had some banging. God. I finally managed to cut out the pieces of the sharks. Hey. Now I have these Pac-Man looking pieces. So I knocked off all the slags and cleaned <sighs> them up on the grinder and then did the same to the jaw pieces. And now that I have the jaw pieces, I need to make some kind of hinge to join them together. And I think I can do this by taking off this hinge from my front door. Wow. Wow, he's took the garage door off. so I can get outside and drive to the shops. Nice. To buy these two pieces of round bar. Then I just made a big hole in them, which I put a bolt into. <laughs> and now if I weld one side to the top and the other side to the bottom, the jaw should move. You make a Pac-Man, let's go. But after the welding, oh, it, won't move. Oh, it all stiff. seized up. So no. I did the same thing my dentist does and wiggled my jaw back and forth until it grinds itself away and the jaw moves freely. Okay. okay, now the jaw needs some teeth and I'm not willing to buy some real ones as most of them are unethically sourced, but more wow. importantly, are They're very expensive. expensive. So yeah. instead, I turned this piece of angle bar into the world's most dangerous comb and then tack welded each tooth on the shark until it had some gills. I mean, That'll grills. Do it. Oh my God, it's like a bear trap. Oh. Then I figured I should make some support to stop the shark biting through its own head. So I welded some scrap metal together and then oh put them God. in the middle and then adjusted them by eye until it was right. Why, why, why would you do that? And here we go. Why? I'm unbelievably happy that these teeth actually fit together and don't touch each other. So That's I cleaned sick. up the jaw. That's actually really cool. And then decided I would put the two Pac-Man pieces on Let's top. call it in the wetsuit. <laughs> and then welded them into place. Okay, once I had welded them on, I realized I forgot to do something very important. Make the eye holes. Oh, yes, sharks that's always very important. first with a drill press before yes. welding their head together. And before I thought maybe I could use my drill press swim. sideways in this position. What? Drop the... That was so close to my foot. I was going to say, instead, please be wearing shoes. As a press this guy. And the drill in between until it went through. <sighs> then it was time to add the jaw. Yeah, it and looks so cool. Between sides, it's because metal is notorious for getting jealous. And you get a better weld if you share your love equally across all parts of the metal. Oh, yes. Now just a quick test to see if it actually moves. Yes. Very slowly. Is and it does, thing? which means it's time for a coat of paint. Now, you're probably thinking this doesn't look like any shark you've ever seen before. It does. It looks pretty and good. You would be right. But that's because I haven't added the pants yet. Yes. I love how he's done the flyers. Now, I'm really worried about this shark destroying itself first go. So I came up with a really simple switch, which will safely turn off the jaws when the bottom reaches the top. All I did okay. was get the power cord from the hydraulic press and put it in the mouth. So when the jaws fully close, it cuts the cord and safely turns itself off. Oh, wow. Okay, it's time for the test. And I've got a smorgasbord of treats. Does for that mean shark. he has to have several first power? Up is a naked like, leg of lamb. Or was that just a joke? You're joking, right? And I honestly don't know why. I thought this would be exhilarating YouTube viewing, but as you can see, the shark closed its mouth and there are now four deep holes all the way through the lamb. Jesus. Then I put the lamb in a family member's wetsuit, which should hopefully keep <laughs> it warm and provide some resistance. Keep it warm, nice. Did it go through? The wetsuit? The normal wetsuit. And I thought the healthy. wetsuit might have done something as the holes oh, no, in the nothing. neoprene looked smaller. But after I took it out, the penetration was exactly the same. Oh Jesus. Wait, this one's gone through bone. That is terrifying. Okay, through now bone? for the tough fabric, which I just wrapped once around the outside of the lamb wetsuit. Oh, let's go. Let's see if it actually works. We're going to get the final test, ladies and gentlemen. Does it go through? Does it stab? And after seeing the teeth sink all the way in and leave some pretty big holes, I wasn't hopeful. They're pretty deep. 
Wow. Wait, what? There are oh. no punctures in the wetsuit. But they didn't go for the wetsuit? Wow, okay. And look at that, they don't go through. They're just little, little dimples. Okay. And there's no puncture. There, Probably there's a bit a, bruises. There is a hole there. Oh. Deep there, deep there, and quite a big dent there. Several so bruises. it looks like the fabric does actually make a big difference, which means okay. this wetsuit would 100% save your life and work against Damn. a real shark, as this metal shark in my garage that only closes it its works. mouth once and really slowly is an exact replica of a real shark. Okay, now to crush some more stuff with my shark. Yes. Let's try a cow leg bone. It's gonna snap it, it's gonna snap it. Wear goggles! And no, I'm not Safety. being racist. I'm just squinting to stop bone fragments from shooting wow. into my eyes. Yeah, like I said, like you can this. wear goggles. You can wear goggles, my guy. Oh my god, that's and sick. Now, let's see what it does to some lamb ribs. It should destroy more stuff. Find more stuff to destroy. Jesus. Hey, we made it through. <gasps> that is terrifying. It's that is deadly. Delicious. Mm, what else can yum, we destroy? Yum, Let's yum, find yum. more. And after cleaning up the bone fragments that were scattered into every corner of my garage, I put the remaining meat inside my wetsuit and went down to the local beach oh, for wow. a safe, relaxing swim. Okay. Thank you so much for watching. <laughs> if you liked that, please subscribe and check out some of my other videos. He's still nuts. He's nuts. He's crazy. But we love him. As I did a thing. Very good, very good, very good. Okay, everyone, that is the end of the video. If you enjoyed that video, make sure you check out the original in the description down below. Enjoyed that video? Maybe you enjoy other reactions. Suggested you by YouTube right there. Click it. It will take you to another one. You might like it. Also, everyone, check out the most recent video or the second most recent video. That'll be the one up there. If you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. That'll be like down here-ish, I think. Probably. We'll see. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed yourself. I'll see you in the next one. Laters.